what are some of the challenges that organizations face with multiple Kubernetes uh, clusters and how Clutch solves some of those challenges? Application developers should be able to describe their entire application system without leaving Kubernetes. So even if you're, let's say, on a, a hyperscaler like Amazon and you, want, you create an EKS cluster and you want to get to an RDS database, you have to step outside of Kubernetes in order to get to RDS. Then you have to create an IAM user, you, know, you need to create a policy. It's, it's a non-trivial thing to do. And well, you could, you could argue, why not create an operator, put it in the application cluster that then talks to the AWS API. But think, what if you create 100 clusters and you want to consume not only RDS, but many other services? And there should be in the future maybe also a deployment on Azure and maybe on Google Cloud. So having a unified way of managing data service across clouds is very interesting. And one of, the, uh, one of the operational challenges platform teams will have to solve is, for example, let's say you have four or 5,000 databases running. And now there's a CVE, you know, and you want to you know, ask the question, hey, how many service instances do we have that are affected by that particular CVE? So you want to be able to ask, where are the service instances? Where are they being used? So you want that central control. And that's what Clutch enables. So every application cluster, you know, where the application developer locally asks for a database, well, it stores that information, replic replicates it to the Clutch server, and the Clutch server then stores that state and can be asked, hey, where are those service instances? And it's the Clutch server that then delegates the actual provisioning to the automation backend. 